Hello, everyone. Welcome to this fireside chat. Um, I'm Patrick, the country manager for GoGoVents Singapore, and I'm also part of the Sharing Economy Association of Singapore. I'm very fortunate today to have uh, by my side here Lou, uh, co founder and chief operating officer of JASCO, right? So, Lou, maybe you could introduce yourself, but more importantly, how did JASCO come about and why JASCO? Mm, okay, sure. Yeah. Thank you, Patrick. Yeah. And uh, thank you, IDC, for um, having me here today. So, hello, everyone. I'm Lou. Um, I'm from JASCO. I'm currently the uh, co founder and also uh, COO. And uh, so maybe I answer you know a bit on the personal side you know how we started uh, JASCO. So it was first founded actually by my husband Wan Singh. Uh, he had uh, many years in real estate, including starting his own business in Malaysia and then working in Singapore also in the real, real estate business with Maple Tree. So um, then he started with this idea of you know really extending into real estate, and he saw a great opportunity in co-working. And then later on he me in and also my brother-in-law so uh, the three of us started the, this business back in 2011 uh, but time really flies so now we have a team of more than 300 people and co-working is you know becoming very vibrant so we have we really foresee a lot of opportunities coming ahead for us to serve both the startups SMEs and enterprises very good so yeah. In all this, yes, 300 employees. Um, maybe could you elaborate more again, like for example, how many uh, countries are you in? And specifically in Singapore, yes. um, how many facilities you have or shared offices? Sure, yeah. sure, sure, Patrick. So yeah, yeah so uh, it would be good for me to, of course, give a few words about JASCO. Uh, so, uh, so we are one of the largest co-working companies in Asia Pacific. So currently we have 20 locations in Singapore and more than 40 uh, across the region, including uh, seven countries. So Singapore, Thailand, Indonesia, uh, Korea, Australia, Taiwan, China, with the eighth market coming on board uh, in Japan. So scale is very important. That's why we keep on expanding across Asia Pacific to really make sure we can you know, give the best to our members. And then uh, co-working, I think a lot of people know about it uh, because of its flexible workspace solution. So uh, maybe I'll just quickly explain what we mean by flexibility. So first is flexible in terms of the uh, space options, so all the way from one person hot desk to uh, you know private offices for five people, 50 people, even 500 people, as many as you want. And then flexible also in terms of lease term, so you can you know do the membership for one day or up to many, many years. So uh, we actually have clients that stay with us since like uh, eight years ago, um, so you know, there's a lot of options and maybe one quick thing also about uh, something that people may be less familiar with is that we also offer bespoke projects to enterprises so what that means is we design the space uh, for enterprise companies uh, so you look exactly like their own so uh, with their uh, company logo their corporate design even a private entry so their employee and important clients can actually walk in and feeling like it's their own headquarters uh, so maybe just quickly beyond space, what we do also because community is actually another very important part of you know what we do. So we run many many programs on site, um, you know services, events, and also partnerships. So to really bring people together, so you know we can all together uh, collaborate and you know grow businesses together. So uh, community and collaboration, that's what is the key topic today. Yes. But before let's before we jump into that, let's get the elephant out of the room. All yes. right. So with this whole pandemic and, and this whole COVID situation, so uh, show, social safety distancing, right? Mm. What is the new norm for the sharing co-sharing spaces? Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Yeah, um, it's a pretty hot topic right now for um, everyone. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, let me jump right into that. So. Um, I think the first thing that comes to people's mind when they return to work is whether this place is safe, yes. you know, especially co-working with many uh, common areas. So would Correct. it be a safe place for people to return to work? So because of that concern, we actually you know, really went out of the way to make sure we're putting all the safety measures to make sure our space is not only in compliance and also our people are around and we step up also our program to make sure all the benefits are still there to support the members. 
this. So maybe I'll just give some quick examples sure. um, of the things. So uh, in terms of saf safety measures, what we do upon arrival, of course, there's a, a safe entry per the you know, mandate of Singapore government, as well as you know, uh, the necessary declaration and temperature checking on all our sites across the region. And then common areas, like I mentioned, is an area of concern for many people. So what we did is we really reconfigured all our furniture inside the common areas. So we uh, also put up a lot of prominent signs and stickers, and then we ensure uh, to, to ensure and monitor that members and guests really adhere to the social distancing. And then uh, event space, because now events are not so popular right now, so we actually turned uh, events to virtual. Yeah. Uh, so uh, about surprisingly uh, to us as well that the total number of events actually did not decrease, but actually increased in uh, many of our locations because now we are rolling out events across the region. So you know the whole network can actually participate. So we still have a whole lineup of uh, business seminars, uh, social networking, and e even uh, community bonding events all available online for members and also uh, the public. Yeah. So sure, definitely, I think uh, this whole new norm of virtual this and virtual that, I think, uh -huh. uh, I, I, speaking for myself, I think I'm working more yeah. at home yes. than, than, than ever before. Yes. Um, I think everybody wants to know about this whole collaboration mm. and, and co-innovation. Mm. So tell us more, how does JASCO foster that in, in your environment among your members? Yes, yes, of course, of course. Uh, so there are many things we do, um, but... Um, um, so maybe at first I mentioned is a, there's a very uh, important uh, social campaign that we are currently rolling out. So I can uh, basically give three examples. So the first one is a social campaign that we're doing right now to really facil facilitate uh, support and collaboration, especially uh, under COVID. So uh, it's called Just Co Cares. So we are giving away 100,000 masks to um, staff members and also public. So staff and members who are returning to work can receive the masks as a, you know, a welcome gesture for them to return to work. And for public, we recently distributed to uh, 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 locations in Singapore uh, around our JASCO locations. And then we are also doing a social campaign actually starting this week online. So you, know, you can actually uh, go to the website and social media to nominate your favorable uh, charity. Uh, your chosen charity, then we'll donate the masks on your behalf. So I think this is a way, one way for us to extend our support to the community at large. So more on uh, giving support and you know making sure the collaboration is another very good uh, new initiative that we are also rolling out actually in June. So it's called uh, JASCO Campus. So what this does is um, because we know at this age of remote working and also you know the isolation, so people actually feel more need for greater flexibility, more community engagement, and more collaboration. Uh, for business development. So uh, this JASCO campus is really focusing on offering key features, uh, focusing on you know, um, the essential business skills and also you know, uh, connecting people together. So uh, it's a three-pronged program. So uh, consult, learn, and connect. So uh, consult meaning that you can actually connect one-on-one -on -one with the industry guru to learn about essential skills, you know, like managing crisis or upping your game. And then you can uh, learn in a virtual classroom. So you not only learn about a relevant topic, and you can connect with your fellow classmates. Uh, and then the connection doesn't stop there, actually. So you can also participate in the program, many social events, and also uh, networking sessions and group chats. So. Uh, to you know, connect again in the even wider network. Uh, so why I mentioned it's a wider network, so JASCO is actually doing this in collaboration with New Campus. And the program is available to members and also the public. So uh, you know, that's what I mean. So everybody can actually sign up and participate. So since we wrote out two weeks ago in Singapore, uh, actually very popular, I guess people are finding it you know, quite useful for them, especially now for you know, the networking opportunities. So all the slides were already taken in Singapore, so we wrote it out regionally across the seven markets and already received some interest in Australia. So I think this is another new and very concrete thing we are doing to really foster the collaboration and people can come together and also co-innovate. Sure. So my understanding is 
the the part whereby you bring everybody together, mm. you include external stakeholders, yes. right? Uh, people that are not part of the JASCO ecosystem or, or the JASCO members, right? Yes. So how do these people actually come together? How 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 can one participate to be uh, into into this whole collaboration? Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah that's a very good question. Yeah. Uh, because um, of course we work with a lot with our members, but also various external parties sure. as well. So in fact, uh, GoGoVan is one of our okay. very valuable partners. Right. So you know, thank you, Patrick, for You're your welcome. company to you know offer the exclusive yeah. uh, perks. So um, of course, with COVID, we also focus on quite a few uh, relevant industries, so such as food delivery. So we work with uh, Food Panda, Grab Ease, and business services. We work with uh, uh, Dropbox, DocuSign, Microsoft, Stripe, just to name a few. But uh, more importantly, since the topic is co-innovation, right? So I want to mention one thing that we're doing a lot to really push on that front. So uh, it's called uh, Just Co Labs. So it's basically you know a series of innovation labs that we run together with external parties. So uh, maybe I just give some examples. Sure. So uh, at our Ocean Financial Center in Singapore, we join force with uh, Wireless Verizon to have this uh, uh, innovation hub focusing on technology technology, five pillars of technology, including artificial intelligence, uh, Internet of Things, etc. And another location is Marina Square, which is a hotbed for us for all the innovation. And we actually have a lot of um, uh, resident members who are incubators. So, you know, Kelsa, for example, they specialize in uh, market entry execution and business management uh, as an uh, incubator. And we also work with we also work with schools, so uh, again, to you know, bring uh, the, the bigger network together. So how we collaborate is through uh, co-hosting events and seminars for schools, so such as uh, Columbia Business School, SMU, all uh, now uh, you know, joining force with us at Marina Square. And maybe one last thing I just quickly mentioned, also very, very important, is that we work with government agencies. Uh, so uh, ESG Korea and also in Australia, we work with Allstreet. So um, they are the ones really working with us to, you know, again, uh, bring individuals, startups and enterprises together across the border. So these are some of the examples I, I know of. But of course, these are the many, many things that we do to make sure we create this very vibrant ecosystem uh, to have a larger network, now members and members. So to together, we can really you know, collaborate and co-innovate. So it's no longer just an office space or a desk that comes with a pantry. You have all these supporting services to actually help startups or businesses grow and excel, right? Yes. Very good. Yes. Yeah. I would say that's an even more important part because space we know is kind of a commodity yes. and it's like you use, it's comfortable, it's good for me. But then uh, we really want to really focus on community, which is our key offering, bringing people together so we can all collaborate and communicate. Very good. Yeah. I understand you have an app called Just yes. Connect. Yes, right? yes. And I think that's like the Tinder of uh, matching services for uh, mentors and, and uh, contacts and, and business, right? So tell us how does that work? Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah thank you, Patrick, for yeah. mentioning that. Yeah. So, uh, so we are not the only one having an app, of sure. course, but we are proud of this special feature because this is something we created to really bring uh, members together. So it's called Just Connect. So by definition, is connecting our members. Correct. So how you can do that as a member is simply you can log on to the, uh, the, the, la uh, the app, and then you can uh, update your company profile, and then you can browse through the member directory and then you can find someone that you'll be interested in connected with. Do they swipe left, swipe right? <laughs> okay, we, yeah. we need to add that into sure, yeah. <laughs> the feature. Definitely. Yeah. I, think, yeah, I think what you mentioned earlier about all this external, you know, like government agencies, yes. incubators, and, and all this support, there are a lot of audiences out there right now, I'm pretty sure will want to jump on that. Yes. So how do they get started? How do they, do they like, go to your website? How, you know, how, how does one quickly get to that? Okay, yeah, so I think there are actually a few ways. So uh, website definitely is one way. So they can you know, check out our website and just put in an inquiry. So there's actually a, a, a form right on the, uh, 
the home page is on the right. Okay. So you can just put in an inquiry and we actually received a lot of requests from especially external parties who want to collaborate with us. So and then there's even a category that you can select. You can just select, select I think like events or collaboration and then you know our team will get into get in touch with you. Okay, good. Yes. Good. I think uh, I think the the last question here we have uh, in the essence of time I think is um, with all this COVID you know situation businesses the way of new, doing new things and and there's all this talk about the recession and all right so mm. where do you see the next six months in terms of JustCo and this whole space this whole uh, co-sharing co-office space yeah yeah very good closing question yeah. and it's definitely uh, another hot topic. <laughs> So uh, let me quickly address that. So um, of course, I think um, the COVID really forces us and also many businesses to rethink their business strategy and also uh, you know, how to survive and succeed in this uh, new normal. So um, uh, what we see is that um, innovation is still at the heart of the um, success and even survival for many business nowadays. So, um, and then uh, at JustCo, of course, we're stepping up our, our innovation as well. So, uh, because we do see the uh, demand for co-working will be even more relevant under the new normal uh, when businesses are seeking even greater flexibility and more engagement and more collaboration opportunities to help them first save costs, um, but also increase um, productivity and you know, business development opportunities. So, uh, so what we are very excited about right now is we're <clears throat> working on in, uh, the next innovation project. So uh, we'll be rolling out actually in our next center uh, at the center point. We'll be doing a new concept called PPM. So uh, you pay uh, per minute. So to really bring the space usage to the next level of greater flexibility. So member can simply sign up and pay per use up to by the minute and while enjoying still um, all the co-working benefits that I just mentioned, you know, access to the meeting room so they can meet their important clients and also all the exclusive events and perks. And inside the PPM zone, we'll be conducting social analytics as well. So again, to learn about, you know, uh, workspace efficiency and social interaction patterns so we can drive further the productivity and also uh, uh, you know the engagement so with uh, this new uh, initiative again we're focusing on innovation with the goal to really drive productivity opportunities for uh, for collaboration and uh, networking and most importantly to save costs for our members so members can in turn transfer the costs into you know driving their own uh, innovation and the growth so they can grow their own business okay yeah so uh Again, in this current environment, every business or every new startups are trying to think how to adapt or pivot their business or the way of doing things. So if you heard it from her, pay per use, pay per minute, I think that's again another innovative service from uh, in the co-sharing space. So I think in the essence of time, uh, we've come to the end. Um, we really like, Lou, thank you for your time today. And IDC, thank you very much for having us on this fireside chat. Sure. Thank you, Patrick. Thank and you. Thank you, IDC. And thank you, everyone, for having me here.